The single pour has been my favorite pour over method ever since I started coffee. And that's because I think it brews the strongest, sweetest, without having the over extracted flavors. And it's also done in the shortest amount of time. And with that being said, because it's shorter, it tends to come out a lot hotter than the other brew methods that take maybe four, three or four minutes. So the single pour has always been my favorite. But throughout all of these years, I've never been able to prove just exactly how strong the coffee actually is. And I've heard from multiple people that the, the brewing technique itself extracts a lot, but in a very short amount of time. Well, today I've got a new tool and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how strong the single pour technique can be. To test the strength of the coffee, we need to use what's called a refractometer. The refractometer tells us how much total dissolved solids are in the water. And when we figure that out, we can kind of plug it into this equation and we figure out the extraction yields. What I have here is the sponsor of the video. This is the Dye Fluids R2 Extract, and they even sent me the microbalance which completes the system. The scale allows me to use the app and it shows exactly how fast I'm pouring and it even calculates the extraction for us. I'll be doing an unboxing video of this thing and in a later video when I have more experience with it. I do want to thank Dye Fluid for this beautiful system. I just got it yesterday and I've been playing with it all day. I've been so excited, I made the video today. So this is the full set over here. Um, in the middle, we've got ourselves the microbalance, which is the scale that connects to our app. Actually, both of them connect to the app. Um, and then this is the refractometer itself. So we put the liquid up here and it, it calculates it for us. Um, we just press the button. And then they also conveniently gave us a spoon um, to help us scoop the perfect amount of liquid into the refractometer. And then as for the app itself, this is what the app looks like. Um, when they're connected, you will see as I turn it on right now, you will see them being able to connect and then you can kind of just click on them and it will connect. So just to, sh so just to show you guys, I've got everything connected. We've got ourselves the, both of these are connected and then we are now ready to start the brew. Um, I will first start by adding the beans and it's showing up at 19 point four or point nine grams over here. So what we're gonna do is over here, we can change the dosage and we're gonna change it to 19.9. So that's gonna be our input. Um, and we can now start the brew, prep the brew and we tear it. As always, we need to set up the grounds. start the brew. So as the timer starts, we just kind of do a normal brew. Um, today's recipe is just a pretty standard single pour. It's a 1 to 14 ratio, 20 grams of beans to 280 grams of water. Just going to move to the edges and then back into the middle. Today's brewing technique might not be the best because I didn't realize my tripod would be in the way like this, but I'm gonna do my best anyways, guys. It's kind of hard to get the flush because I can't actually move to the edge as well. So while that's draining, uh, we can take a look at this chart. This chart is pretty much the flow chart of how fast I was pouring at all times. Um, you can see this is the stir. This is probably the stirring area. Um, and then this is how I pour. I pour about, from the earlier stages, about six milliliters per second, all the way up to 12. Um, that's probably when I'm trying to get to the edges. And then I slow it back down as I kind of go back into the middle. And then as you can see, as I move to the edges again, it starts to speed back up. And then you can, and then I stop, and then there's the, the, the stirring times where the weight registers. Um, the whole time, we've also got the timer at the bottom so we can see everything. So yeah, this is a uh, pretty cool. So that way finish, I've stopped the timer. Um, two minutes and 34 seconds. The total weight was 280 grams. And this is the signature dome that we have with the single pour. 
So what we want to do now is we want to weigh the exact yield. So you're going to be able to see when I click next here, um, we can kind of show everything. But the problem is it asks for the yield. The yield is the total amount of liquids extracted. And uh, what I've noticed is if I tear it now, it kind of turns the system off. So I have to use a different scale to actually weigh the coffee that was actually brewed out. So I brew it about 228.5 grams. And what we're going to go is do is go back to here to 28.5. That is the yield. And then what we've got here is the refractometer. So for the refractometer, we're going to use our spoon. And then we're going to scoop a little bit. And notice how it just kind of catches on very perfectly. We set that on here. We set that onto the refractometer. And then I click the go button. The go button. And it's going to be testing. So as it tests, you can see the, the percentage of extraction. Um, and it changes a little bit over time as it kind of cools down. We're down to 2.08. So here we have it. It's already at its final. And over here, it'll calculate everything for you. We've got ourselves 23.42 extraction. The TDS was 2.04. The dosage is 19.9 grams. And the total yield is 228.5 grams. And um, OK, so I made a mistake earlier. I set this accidentally on espresso, which is why it's showing up as a little bit weird. Can't really do much about it. It just showed up as an espresso. For an espresso, it's very weak. For a pour over, though, it's very strong. So thank you, um, Dye Fluids, for sending me this kit. Um, because of you guys, I will now be able to really improve my coffee game just by understanding how much my extraction is. As you guys can see though, the single pour is a very strong extraction brew method. Obviously, the chart I had was set on was set incorrectly because it should have been pour over instead of espresso. Um, I forgot I had adjusted it for espresso when I was testing it with a decent espresso machine earlier. But if you guys are not familiar with um, these numbers, a 20% extraction for a pour over is considered very high. Actually, in general, it's it's a very high extraction. So for me to be able to push into the 23% range in such a short amount of time, this is what kind of extractions you'll be getting. You, you'd be expecting more from a tricolate, which can be an 8 to 10 minute brew method, zero bypass. Um, but I'm able to achieve this in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Obviously, I had a little bit of the clogging earlier because I didn't have the perfect pour. That being said, to be able to extract 23% in 2 minutes and 30 seconds is actually kind of insane. And I will be testing a lot and I will be sharing a lot of results with you guys with lighter, medium, and darker roasts. Now the, the coffee I had earlier is kind of like a medium roast. Um, the gases, as you guys can see, were not too violent and it was quite easy for me to extract from the beginning to the end. Having the ability to see the science behind my techniques now is really going to elevate my coffee game and I would and I'm very excited to be able to share all this new information with you guys. So once again, thank you so much to Dye Fluids, which is digitized fluid solutions for sending me this system. The R2 extract is something I've been wanting. Um, if you want to improve your kind of understand your brewing methods a little bit better, refractometer is a key device in actually understanding your brews. And the scale itself just kind of completes the system, makes it easier for me to track my flow rate. So I've never been able to, I've never really thought about that. And now I can even show you guys how different flow rates can create different kinds of extractions. So in the meantime, I want you guys to think about how strong coffees might not necessarily be a bad thing. I know this is on the realm of over extraction and generally that means there's going to be bitters. But as you can see, I, I'm quite enjoying these coffees. I personally like stronger coffees. 
Maybe with something that's this strong, we could dilute it down with some water to kind of balance it out. But the argument is the bitters generally are there, but I don't actually taste any bitters in here. Maybe it's my roast or maybe it's just the time frame at which we are able to extract the coffees from. So maybe if we take longer and longer, like for example, with a tricolate, we're going to be brewing out different types of acidity or different types of darkness. So we're fully extracting what likes to come out in an earlier stage in just the two and two minutes and 30 seconds. So um, with this, now I can able, I, now I'm able to, to see more and test more. Um, so yeah, let's, let's keep the coffee game up. Let's keep the grind up. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.